I will be installing the HD Home Run software for the two tuners that I'm hooking up to this computer. It's already recognized that it's 64-bit. So click once on the HD button and it will take you through the standard installation process. It will extract the files that it needs, bring up the setup wizard, and it will install the software. Once it's done installing the software, click on Finish and exit out of the system. Once it's done with the installation process, it will now discover the tuners that I have available. It's going to upgrade firmware if it needs to and continue on with the process. And you can see that it found the four tuners that I have connected. I have regular HD antenna from outside the house to two tuners. And I have cable from charter going to the other two tuners. Again, they're dual tuners, so it's two coax to one, two coax to the other. Okay, it's asking me now to set the source of the digital antenna or the cable for each tuner. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is set up my postal code. So enter in where I live, click on next, and you can see my tuners are here ready to go. So you can see that the source is either digital antenna or digital cable. You can also see here that the tuner numbers are listed. So 1017 is the name of my digital antenna. You can see here that it's putting the Windows Media Center application as it is. And then 1015 is actually for my digital cable. And as I go through and do these, you can see it's already set up. Now I could choose another application if I wanted to, but Windows Media Center is where I want to be at. So I'll click on Next. And you can see that I have 1017 and I have DDA0 and DDA1, which are the coax inputs on the back of the tuner. And I have it go through and scan now. So now it's going to scan digital antenna first. You can see now it's completed for tuner 0 all of the channels that are available. Now I'm going to go to Tuner 1. You can see also everything is duplicated. Click on Next. Now I'm going to the next one, which is for my Charter Digital Cable. I'll scan. Okay, now it's come up with all of the channels and you can see that it has the guide name and the guide number everything else. You can also see it has a bunch of unknowns here that are for the different cable channels. So we'll let it sit and we'll see what happens as we go through and work through the system. We'll click on finish. And we are done.